Welcome back to more Paper Mario, everyone. So last time we defeated the boss of Chapter 1, the Koopa Brothers. Yeah, so let's begin by actually going to this crag. I would have gone all the way back, but uh, no, there's actually, you know, a bit more to show. So, unfortunately, I can't just cut all the way back to Toe Town. There are more things to do on the way back. So, this right here gets us the FP Plus badge, which is the equivalent of the HP Plus badge, which you already know. You, you know what it does. It costs 3 FP. And five more HP. This one, three, three. Uh, sorry, BP. I think, yeah, three BP, five HP. This one, three BP, five FP. Okay, right here. I should be getting something. And there we go. Hold it right there, Mario. I've been waiting for you. Really, in that spot. In that spot. What the hell kind of strategy is that? I told you I'd be back. Now I'll get my revenge. Here it comes, baby. Check this out. Really. Well, okay then. Um... Okay. I'm talking to you. I promise you this fight will be much different than before. Hey, you're doing your troop. Are you following us? You need to mellow out. Shut up! You, Mario. Of course you remember me. Um... Who the hell are you? I don't remember you. What? Darn it, you don't remember me? Listen, you you big log. My name is Junior Troop. I remember it and... Wow. Oh, jeez. Okay. So, the last time we fought this guy, he had 5 HP and an attack power of 1, and that was it. That was seriously it. However, your attacks are useless. What the hell are you talking about? Let's tattle you. Okay, this is Junior Troopa, battle number 2. Junior Troopa 2. So, he has 15 HP this time around, and a defense of 1. His normal attack does 2 damage, and that's it. That's seriously it. Very... Simple battle, I must say. What I'm gonna do is power jump you. And I'll do three damage, because you know. Who knew that Mario had such battle skills? It's not over yet, though. Okay. Attack power of two. If you discard it, you'll be fine. Power jump. Another three damage. Now, I need to switch you out and actually go to, um, I'm gonna choose Cooper, I guess. I could've choose Bombette, but whatever. Because... Goombarga is useless, he can only do 1-1, one, one. and because he has a defense of 1, it'll do 0-0. Zero, zero. But someone like Koopa, Koopa really, Cooper, who can do two, 2 damage per hit, he'll actually do 1 damage. And won't be completely useless. There we go, that's a guard. How much HP do I have? 5? Okay, another power jump. There we go. And shell toss. 1 HP left. 1 HP. Ha! Huh, guarded. Alright, let's go ahead and do, uh, not a jump, but a hammer, because a hammer actually does some damage. Bam! There we go. And we have done it. We get 20 star points from that, from 33 to 53. Okay. What the hell? He's just dead there. You can hit him and yeah, whatever. But okay, that was a very, very simple battle. I don't even want to call it a boss battle. I'll call it a mini boss, if anything. Mario! What? Oh look, it's Twink. Mario, Mario, it's me, Twink, remember me? Yes. I heard you save the Honorable Star Spirit who was captured by the Koopa Brothers. Bowser and his gang are so angry about it. I knew you could do it, Mario. You're on your way. But enough celebration for now. I came, I come bearing important information for you. It seems that one of the Star Spirits is being held captive somewhere in Dry Dry Desert. Bowser wrote it in his diary, some place called Dry Dry Ruins. The prince has braved the dangers of the castle to get you this clue, Mario. If we find out anything else, I'll hurry back to tell you. I have to go back to her, to her highness now. She's so brave. I hope this news helps. It does. Thank you. Thank you very much, Twink. Okay, so... Let's see. There are some things we can do. Like, let's see. I mean, we have Cooper's ability, which, um... I mean, actually, we can't do much. We really can't. What the hell? I thought we could. But, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and heal. That's for sure. Rest. Right here. Hello there. Yes, I would like to take a nap. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is explore more of Toad Town because now it's opened up and you'll see in a bit what I mean by that. If I just go, actually, I can also come over here. Hey, mister. My dad's opened his shop. Oh, really? Let's take a look, sure. 
Ooh, nice stuff. Okay, so among these badges, the ones that I really like, actually they're all pretty good. I mean, first attack, let's more destroy a weaker enemy with a first strike. Hmm. Multi-bounce. Okay, speedy spin. I'm gonna get this. This one costs 50, so, and yeah, any badges you buy from here do count to the 80 total. There are only 80 badges in the entire game. So I'm buying this, and that's another one of the 80. And multi-bounce can also be pretty useful, maybe. I guess I'll buy it, sure. Alright, yes, I will buy it. There we go, I'm, I only have 66 left, so I cannot buy first attack, unfortunately. But that's fine. At least I have Speedy Spin, because Speedy Spin is actually a very useful badge, at least for me it is. I currently have Refund, I'm gonna put Speedy Spin. It only costs one, and it increases the distance uh, Mario can spin dash. Multi-bounce, however, jumps on all enemies in a row if the action command is timed right. So it's basically like Cooper's Power Shell, except it's jumping uh, to all enemies one at a time. So yeah, pretty useful. Speedy Spin, look at this. It's, uh, you basically spin a lot more, which is really nice. Over here, there is nothing on this tree. There's a little toad there, which doesn't really, uh, you don't want to talk to him, it's fine. Peach's Castle's up north, Toad Town Station is down south, the port is to the west, and Forever Forest to the east. This building here has a Tasty, which actually, I'm just going fast, you can have Tasty Cookie something. I'm going to go ahead and do a Koopa Leaf. Yes. So if you do know the recipes, you can actually have Tasty make you better stuff. For example, a Koopa Leaf is, uh, it heals how much? 3 MP? Not MP, really, FP. But if you transform it into a Koopa Tea, you get to heal 7 FP, which is really nice. And it does not cost you anything at all, only your time, no money. Let's go this way. What's over here? Actually, screw that place, I don't want to go there. You actually can't. Wait a minute, is there something on this tree here? Let's see. Nope. That's what I thought. Okay, let's see what else is there to do. Uh, this pipe part here leads to Toad Town Sewers, which I probably do actually want to, you know, fight. This right here is a, um, what are you? A, um, bubble, that's right. Okay. Interesting, it looks to spread flowers. I'll entrust this to your care. We got a magical seed. Okay. You're going to want to get four of these seeds in the entire game. I'll just tell you that right now. You want four of them. But, um, I won't actually be saying why. Just get the four. And that's it. Get the four. There's another tree here. Which has nothing. This building here. Won't open. It's locked. Okay, and... Over here. Another damn thing. I don't really care about that. Another tree. Which has nothing. Another shop in Toad Town. It's weird that they have two shops. A stone cap, which, um, is garbage. It makes him, like, immune to attacks, but he can't attack either. So, like, what the hell? Thunder Rages are nice. Remember that Thunderbolt I used? Well, imagine that, but attacking all enemies. Pretty nice. And Tasty Tonic removes, uh, poisoning and shrinking, and everything else we've seen already. I'm not gonna buy stuff, though. Actually, it wouldn't hurt to sell some stuff. I said sell, not buy. Sell. I'm gonna sell, um. I mean, I could sell another. I should have made another Koopa Leaf into a Koopa Tea. Oh well. Nah, I don't really care for it. It's fine. Okay, now, um, I'm gonna go ahead and hit this tree here. Dude, these trees have nothing. What the hell? I thought. I always thought they had something. Down here, there's nothing either. Um, there's another building here, and this one is. What is this? Ooh. I mean, there's nothing in this building, though, because I already know what, what buildings have stuff and which ones don't. Now, let's see. If I go to this tree, also nothing. Interesting. Wow. There's nothing in this building. Completely empty. And this leads to the port, which has different music. Actually, it's not even music. This, however, does. Hello. Simon, I'm rhyming. Okay, whatever. Hmm. Whatever. Chanterelle. Alright. And... That's pretty much it. What the hell? See, this same guy actually appears in the uh, in a, a Thousand Year Door, but I don't know if it's actually the same exact dude, or if he's a different person. I don't know. Save point. 
And that's pretty much all there is here. I mean, there's nothing over here. Yeah, the only thing of that that I would recommend doing is to coming over here and somehow, I forgot how though. Oh, there we go, like this. Because it leads to a block which I believe contains some coins, which can help you out. There we go. But that's pretty much it here. So as you can see, there's really not much to do in these parts of the Toad Town because we're really not supposed to be here yet. Like, there really isn't anything to do. So, all I'm going to do is, um, just come over here to the Toad Town sewers, this spot, right here. So this spot is another, like, mini dungeon-like, and eventually you'll be able to explore more and more of the sewers if you just, you know, keep pursuing this once you have more abilities. For example, we can't go here yet. This block is unbreakable. We can't go here yet. But we can go this way. There's a save point. You know what? I'm going to smash this block. There's a save point right here, which I guess I'll use. And, okay, there's Gloombos. What I'm going to do, though, is... Hmm, I mean, should I fight them right now? Might not be a bad idea. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna wait though. Just a bit. Because I want to come over here and fight this guy first. Blooper! What? Okay. It is a boss battle. That's right. An optional boss battle. This right here is Blooper. I'm gonna go ahead and begin by using a tattle. So, Blooper is a boss that has 30 HP, the most we've seen so far of any enemy, an attack power of 3 and a defense power of 0. He has two attacks. A normal attack which does 3, and an ink attack which does 3. It's real, there's no difference between his attacks, except the animation, of course. I'm going to use a power jump. It's best to keep um, Goombario the entire time. And guarded, yes. Because he's in the air, and Koopa, Cooper and um, Bombet actually cannot attack him. So, that's a problem. Let's go ahead and do head bonk, you know. There we go. But yeah, overall, this guy, I mean, despite him... Oh, damn, I didn't guard it. Despite him having some pretty decent HP and attack power, he's still not that hard, mainly because he has no defense. So, you know, that's whatever. I've already got him down to a halfway health. Not bad. And he just keeps using the ink attack, and I keep not defending it. What the hell? That's not good. Another power jump. Okay. And head bonk. Two damage. Right, okay, can you please use the other attack so I can at least show it? And I can't even guard him, and I freaking suck. Jeez, man. Uh, my final FP. For four more damage, and then you can just use a head bonk. Alright, he's down to two HP. He used the same attack every single time, the ink attack. He has another attack, you know, I'm just saying. So he got me down to six HP, but I did it. I did it. Okay. There we go. Got some star points. I defeated him. And he was guarding this chest here. Which has the shrink stomp badge. If it works, the enemy shrinks, its attack power decreases. It's like a status element, you know, putting on your um, jump. You can do a shrink jump, which is pretty good, but only in certain situations, you know. But I'm not going to use it. I don't really care. Is there something here? Yes, there is. A super shroom, which I'm actually going to use right now. Because I'm, I'm about to fight some pretty decent... You know, decently... Actually, I'll just use two mushrooms. How about that? I think that makes more sense. Two of those. I don't really need FP, though. I think I'm good. Because I can just... Uh, yeah, I should be okay. Come on, get over here, man. God damn it. Alright, these are Gloombas here. Now, I'm going to go into a title. Gloombas are uh, improved versions of Goombas. They actually have 7 HP and an attack power of 2... But a defense power of zero. They only have one attack though, a normal attack, the head bonk, and that's it. So uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and yeah, just jump. I mean that's all I can do, like I was saying. It's gonna take me quite some time to uh kill these guys, but oh well. That's fine. Because by this point, you know, normal attacks are only doing two two damage per attack, so it does take quite a while. I mean, if I did first strike him, though, he would have been dead by now, the first guy at least, but it was my fault, you know? Alright, I beat him. That's one down. But yeah, then there's also a Spike Goomba on one of the blocks hiding there, which I will actually fight. Although, 
I should make a note that um, they they have an attack power of three, so you got to be very careful. You really do. And because I only have 10 HP left, that's uh quite nerve-wracking, I must say. There we go. Eight star points, not bad. So look at all these blocks, man. That's cool. Oh, that one has coins. I'll hit it then. They give me those free coins. Okay, there's a spike goomba right there, and then this one over here has nothing. I'm gonna go ahead and use a um. Should I use it? I probably should. All right, fine. Let's do it. Let's use it, man. Kind of hate to do it, but you know what? Got to do it too. At the same time, I feel like I do have to do it. Get over here, man. Get over here. Freaking Goomba. There. At least it puts me at an advantage, you know? <laughs> Seriously. Alright, time for another tattle. This is a Spike Loomba. There's Spike Loombas who live in Toe Town Tunnels. Yeah. Anyways, this guy has 7 HP, an attack power of 3, and a defense power of 0. So, we've seen this before. Basically, they're an improved version of the, um, the Spike Goombas. So I desperately need to uh, switch, of course. Come on, oh my god, look at this man. They're gonna do a lot of- oh god, I didn't even guard it. Hmm, what do I have? I mean, I have another Super Shroom in case I need it, but we'll see. So Goombario is pretty much useless now. I can't do anything with him, and so I'll just go ahead and use a uh, Cooper. Oh no. I better guard all these moves then, because they're gonna do some crazy damage in the long run. And that's not good. Okay, he's down. So the only one we're not going to see right now is the, uh, Paragloomba. But actually, I mean, does he even appear here? I'm sure he does. Paragloombas? Yeah, they should. It's just that it'll take a while, you know, to actually start seeing them. Because I don't think we can traverse any more of the Toad Town Tunnels here, or the sewers, whatever you call them, I don't know. I'm going to 7 HP already. Jesus, they just did... They just did 13 damage to me. That's pretty ridiculous. Okay, you're down. They give 4... Wow. 4 each, though. That's 8 more. 89 total. Pretty good. Alright. we got some uh, nice stuff there. So that's pretty much all there is here. And I really don't know what else to do, except maybe... Well, I don't know. I really have no idea. I could keep exploring some more in Toad Town by actually going down... This way. Over here, there is a, um, this tree, which makes a pipe appear. And you can actually, like, play or gamble or whatever, but I think you need a certain card. Yeah, this place. Playroom. Yeah, you need a member card. Unfortunately, we don't have a member card yet, so I cannot do this. But I'll, I guess I'll come back here later, I don't know, we'll see. If I even want to, because it's freaking boring. Hello? Um, nah. I don't want to learn about him. Oh, okay. Yeah, little oinks are, um... It's a weird mini game. <laughs> you can get stuff like a repel gel or whatever. But, again, I'll be explaining that later because... First of all, it's just a mini game. You don't really have to do it. You don't ever have to do it. This right here, though. A boulder. Which we can actually blow up. If you talk to these people, they'll, they'll say, Oh, a boulder is blocking. But, with the boulder gone, we can actually traverse. And keep going. And that's pretty much all of Toad Town. We went to every single spot. Over here there's um, some nice flowers, as you can see. And yeah, that's it. The only thing I would want to do, though, is actually come over here to the very north. First things first, I'm actually going to um, switch to Goombario and then rest. We are at about 20 minutes, although I know I can actually uh, keep going with this. Ah, uh, no, don't save yet. I want to rest. I need to heal up. Yes. I'm going to fight a uh, an enemy in the dojo. Who is known as, uh, I believe it's Chan. It should be Chan. Okay. And yeah. The dojo is over here on the left side, as you already know. And it's a pretty nice place to just uh, fight some enemies. But I'll, I'll of course be... And doing a 100% run, which means, yes, fighting this dude. Fighting all of these guys. Hello there. Yes, I want to train. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. Now, you don't actually get anything except 
accept a card that says that you beat somebody. You don't get experience and no star points, no nothing like that. Okay, you're Chan. Let's tattle you. So, Chan. Chan has 15 HP, a defense of 2, also at 0 when flip, and an attack power of 2. He can be flipped by various attacks, and um, he gets up immediately and attacks one turn later. And he is also immune to fire attacks. So yeah. Just jump on him, and you'll see what I mean. If you jump on him, unlike other Koopas, he actually stands up very fast. So, now he does say how dishonorable, which I find freaking hilarious, but okay. There we go. Let's go ahead and use a power jump now and do some nice damage. Okay. So I like to flip him with Goombari, even though I don't think it matters because it would be 3 damage. Actually, no, it would be... No, it does matter because I would only be doing 2 with the power jump. So yeah, it's better to actually do this. There we go. And power jump. Okay, you beat him. See? No star points at all. No money. Nothing. Enough. The winner is Mario. Chan, you must train harder. Very well, I will give you this, Mario. First degree card. Oh yeah, we defeated Chan. I can also fight the next person, Lee, but I'm running out of time here and I'm probably not going to do it in the next video because the next video we will be moving on to Chapter 2 by taking that train that we see down there in the Toad Town. So I'm going to end it right here. Next time I will be next to the train. Thank you for watching, goodbye everybody, and until next time.